Hey, afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Sign News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a somber edition of the Ghostly Take. Is after a good weekend with only a loss to one of the first three teams in the division, the Springfield Thunderbirds, and taking down the other two top three teams. The Phantoms fall to a game you would really want to the Bridgeport Islanders, formerly the Sound Tigers, up there in Bridgeport, Connecticut, this morning, ending, of course, recently 4-1. to one. Um, This was a game that after the first period, even though uh, the Islanders walked out with the lead on the Holmstrom backhander, I still thought the Phantoms had a lot of chances and opportunities, so I still was feeling really good about this game and going, well, it's been worse. Like, for example, the last morning game where Alex Lyon had to play like the second coming of Henrik Lundqvist in order to keep the Phantoms in the game, in order to then come back later in that game. They actually played a pretty good first period, couldn't tally a goal, it was back and forth, Holmstrom gets the goal, and then the second happened where the first five minutes in, Andy Andreoff was able to get one on a rebound, former Phantom, former Flyer, um, obviously we were able to get a great shot by Logan Day that Nick Lappin immediately gave him props for, that Lappin was able to deflect in, that the Phantoms were able to get. But then, unfortunately, only moments later, Eric Brown, on an odd man rush for the Islanders, had an opportunity and an absolute snipe over Sandstrom. That was a beautiful shot by the forward Eric Brown there, assisted by Kyle McLean. So, the second period was really sloppy. It was reminiscent to the big club, uh, where you had a good first period back and forth, and then the struggle bunny second period, which is exactly what you've seen for the Flyers all season. Um, the Phantoms... That second period is the deciding factor to me, if I had to point anything in this game, to why you lose. It's the second. You had one good play that ended up being the day goal, or the day, excuse me, assist to Lappin on the blast and the point that Brendan Saunier, who also played a very good overall game, looked like he got banged up, but then came in immediately, uh, put a couple hits on, had a couple scoring chances. He played good the fourth line. Uh, played really well, but you needed to see better play from the forward court throughout. There wasn't enough consistent play from the groups as a whole. The fourth line played good in this game. Sonia played good in this game, but you needed to see more from everyone else. And unfortunately, that did not come to fruition in this game. And the Phantoms fell to the Bridgeport Islanders 4-1 to one as a result. Hopefully, they're able to bounce back and get going again against the Providence Bruins this Friday, as that will be the next game, as I will be previewing that earlier on Friday. Stay tuned if you're also a three-way fan of the team from the Reading Royals through the Philadelphia Flyers. I'll be doing a preview to their game that takes place this evening at 5.30 later in the day. Unfortunately, though, our AAA affiliate, the Lehigh Valley Phantom, fall 4-1 to to the Bridgeport Islanders as the Islanders get goal from, from former first-round pick Simon Holmstrom, former top Kings prospect Andy Andreoff, uh, Eric Brown, and then Jeff Kubiak, uh, who sealed the deal with a third period goal that really put the Phantoms away at that point, who were actually pushing and playing well in the third period, then 10:48 in, he got that goal, and you're like, okay, even though the Phantoms are pushing, it's going to take a lot now, this game is just one of those where it seems like they don't have it, and uh, that was that showed at the end of the game where even three down, uh, Lappy still didn't pull um, Sandstrom because this just it looked like one of those games, nothing was going your way, you just didn't have it, and the second period uh, being as damning as it was, was the deciding factor for me uh, to why this didn't go the Phantoms way. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below on the easy-to-use sub button, or up above on that easy-to-use widget to keep us going and growing to the channel. Hopes of 200 by the end of February. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the season. Go Phantoms, let's bounce back this weekend. Peace out, everyone.